First off, I want to just thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, uh, for this incredible opportunity. Man, I, I wake up every day and I think, golly, I, I get to be here. You know, like with these, did y'all see our student section tonight? Like the passion they have uh, for our university and um, I, I'm just so blessed. And then uh, the second thing is uh, hearing about uh, Coach Knight passing away um, before the game is when I saw it. And um, I was a, a big Bobby Knight fan um, as a, a young person, J uh, just how hard he got his guys to compete. And it didn't matter how tough he was on them. Like those dudes like loved him. Like the people that I met, like loved him. And I remember when he went to Texas Tech, uh, they had like some kind of incident. We were on our way up there to play. And he had some kind of incident with somebody at the president at the school or something. And there was, uh, we weren't sure if he was gonna coach the game or not. And uh, Coach Knight, doesn't shake anybody's hand except the head coach. That was his like thing. Uh, but when he came walking out of the, the tunnel and people saw he was gonna coach the game, the fans started clapping. Well, I was clapping for our guys, the Baylor guys warming up. And so he thought I was clapping for him and he stopped and he shook my hand. And I, it, was, it was a really cool moment because everybody's like, man, Coach Knight stopped and shook your hand. And so, and, and, and then he was always kind to me whenever I saw him uh, on the road. So. Um, just my con condolences go out to the Knight family. And, um, you know, Pat uh, was always really kind to me also. And so um, my prayers are with that family. And uh, tonight was a good night because, uh, you know, we won and no one hopefully got seriously injured. And um, we got a long way to go, but I, I like our guys. I uh, want to start by asking about Cam. Scores 20 points for you, but he's not really firing away from three. What do you like about his game that he's scoring in other ways? Yeah, I, I've asked Cam and clearly defined his role that I need him to be a bucket, be a scorer, don't think about facilitating. And I thought um, early on in practices and and even, you know, a little bit when we was in Israel that he was, uh, you know, just trying to be a good teammate and, stuff and and uh and it was he was had a lot of turnovers and so um i like that he had three assists and one turnover but that's happening because he's not thinking about trying to make plays for other people he's being really aggressive and and he can shoot the ball like we can shoot the ball better than we shot tonight and so i'm not 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 concerned about that uh but for the most part they took good shots what was maybe one thing you take away from tonight where you say we have to be better before we go and play USC? Yeah, we, we, got, we got to defend without fouling, right? And uh, early on getting in foul trouble, TP picking up two and stuff because we're reaching down at the last second. And yeah, we, we got to do that. But we got a long, long, there's a lot of stuff we got to get better at. And uh, so this is going to be a process to get to where we want to get to. I thought we had probably about five good minutes in the first half and maybe about five or six in the second half. So we probably put about 11 minutes together the way I want to see us play. And, you know, it's a 40 minute game. So we got a lot of work to do. Did you get the pace that you wanted in terms of no, offense? No, we could put like we the ball went through the net and bounced on the floor way too many times that well, we didn't get the ball out the net and get it up. And um, our body movement and ball movement got a little stagnant, stagnant at times. So. You mentioned no serious injuries tonight. You expect to have Glover back on Monday? Oh, I don't. I haven't had a um, uh, a report on it yet. So we hope like he's tweaked it a few times and it's been all right. So we'll see. And then just with redshirting players, what's the next step between now and Monday? Deciding if you're going to redshirt players. Or yeah, not? I don't know. It's going to depend on you know who's available for us, right? And you know when you have, if you have 13 available, then you can think about it. And, you know, and uh, but when you don't have 13 available, um, then you have to look a different way. So we'll talk as a staff and uh, red shirt is always um, the, the kids choice. You know, we give them the option, but it's up to them to, to want to do it because that's the only way they make the most of it. And so and you saw, you know, I mean, I feel like um, Dorian got his red shirt, uh, you know, Jarrell red shirt I thought, you know, it's really helped him. And so Taj red shirting has helped him. So, I mean, there's a lot of positives there, but we may need everybody this year to, to be the team that we're capable of being. Go ahead, 
So he started uh, Taj today. Was there any significance to that as far as like practice performance or anything? Or? Yeah, just, just um, you know, we watched the SMU film and uh, Taj did all the little things right. Uh, was first one off the bench greeting his teammates. He was, in the huddle. I mean, just all the little things that, that, that contribute to being a great teammate and winning, right? Like really, really winning. And, and so, you know, I told him he was, he was going to play and he's going to get an opportunity, a bigger opportunity than was necessary, like in my mind. It wasn't necessarily what he, like the offensive production or any of those things. It's just all the little things that, that, that when, when, when guys do the right thing, you got to reward them. And uh, this was a reward for him. And I hope that this kind of spurs him to, man, let me do a little bit more, you know, and so. So Jarrell had a pretty productive game, but uh, he's kind of towered over those guys a little bit too. Did yeah. you expect this would be a game that he could be successful, perhaps? Well, I, I want, I'm hoping that Jarrell can give us 15 plus minutes a game this year where he competes at a level that allows us to win the game and that he shows that he can fight through fatigue. Uh, you know, and uh, not not let it impact his play. And uh, you know, tonight was a small glimpse of what I think he's capable of of doing. So they were showing your introductory news conference on the jumbotron highlights of last year. The students are doing the wabash. You're coming on the floor. There's a lot going on. Just kind of walk me through your emotions tonight, Coach. Um, well, I didn't see any of that. I did see the students section and so that was like but the guys had already come in our staff had come in and told me coach the student section is packed and so I mean like man like I said those those are my people I, I normally walk in on the floor I'm not paying attention I'm trying to find my wife in the stand so I can blow a kiss at her and uh, not get in trouble when I get home so <laughs> when you hear this is just the beginning a new year what does that mean to you I, just that that we have we have a long way to go. Like I said, when I start, man, I'm blessed. I'm blessed to be sitting here, um, talking to you guys, coaching these guys at this great university. This this opportunity we have, and um, you know, I I mean, we can we can do some special things this year. And uh, we, this is just like you know, we got, but we have to keep getting better and keep moving forward. And and we need everybody, you know, and so. Um, yeah, I'm try I don't like look big picture. I'm just thinking a little bit at a time. You kind of touched on this already, but did you see anything from the true freshmen tonight that would necessitate, you know, them getting some playing time this year? Yeah. They're pretty talented, huh? Yeah. Um they are. They're, our our freshmen are good, but they're freshmen. And so it's going to be a battle of how much can you play them? to get them the experience they need to be ready to help you in the Big 12 and still be able to win games because you got to win games to put yourself in a position, you know, for the NCAA tournament. And so that's going to be something the staff and I are going to have to, you know, figure out. And um, But but I, I liked, I purposely wanted to see the freshmen, you know, out there together and see how, how they look and, you know, that. The, the, the guys we recruited, they can, they can, they can play. You said yesterday you were filling out leadership applications still. Do you get any answers on that tonight? No. <laughs> uh, no, the challenge is still out there for them. You've coached a uh, number of opening games over the years, some in big time settings, some at home, you know, in a game you probably should win. I'm wondering how much, in your experience, how much more juice is involved with a game like this where you're playing USC on a neutral court and everybody's hyped for it? Yeah, I, I, this is actually the first time I've coached in an opening game that where you're playing an opponent that, you know, at the, the caliber of USC, you know. And so um, I, I just feel like there's like there's, there's no losing in this one, right? Like. You're gonna you you're gonna win and learn, or you're gonna lose and learn, you know. Uh, but it's gonna be a great experience for us to see where we are at and like to where we want to get to, and the opportunity to do it on TNT, so all America gets to see it, right? And there are a lot of 
going to be a lot of really good recruits out there watching. And to see that Kansas State plays in those types of events. And um, I always say that, that TV follows the players, not, not the names on the front, right? So the, if you get the best players, they, they, will, they will put you in the best events. And that, that, that's our goal, to play in these kind of things year in and year out because we have the best players. Um, in yesterday's press conference, Coach, you talked a bit about developing consistencies. Um, as you watch the game tonight, what areas of the game do you feel you guys were most consistent at or even a little bit inconsistent at? Oh, that's a good question. Um, well, we didn't turn it over as much, right? We had 12 turnovers. Our goal is 11 or less. And so I felt like, um, for the most part, we took care of the basketball. And I, I really thought we had really good shot selection. I thought we turned down some shots that, that we should have taken. And so in those two aspects, and I think when you shoot open shots, you don't turn the ball over, right? Like that's, that sounds really simple, but that's, that's the truth. And um, we were inconsistent in our, our pace. Like it wasn't as fast and as um, there was pauses when the other team scored or when we got a rebound, there were pauses that allowed the defense to set up, and I'd like to see us be better at that.